Hello and welcome back to Feria's Tips and Tricks. Last time we built a red control deck that focused on creature destruction and the vicious archetype. This time we are taking an aggressive approach with Yellow Fury. This deck takes to the skies and rushes your opponent down with fearsome flying creatures. We have event cards to help us control the board while we put pressure on our opponent's life. This deck is very fast and requires you to play aggressively with land placement to succeed. So let's get to building the deck and then we can whip up a storm on the ladder. Here are the main creature cards of our deck and all of these creatures have flying. Dune Drake is a fantastic card with good stats and a lot of mobility. Flying combined with charge will allow him to get up close and personal very quickly. His drawback is you can't gather Feria, but it's a small cost for the power of the card. Air Elemental will help lead the charge to our opponent's orb. Once summoned, he will give us an extra desert tile, which will close the gap between our creatures and our enemies. Windborn Emissary synergizes with our other flying creatures, giving him a nice stat boost. This will help us deal with opposing creatures and deal additional damage to our opponent. Kaleem Skyguard is an interesting card that offers board utility. We can summon him adjacent to any of our creatures, which doesn't restrict him from being summoned to desert tiles. The deck doesn't pack many creatures with huge stats as we rely on rushing our opponents down. In case we run into any trouble, I've packed some removal into the deck. Shaitan Assassin is a death touch creature that can sacrifice an ally to gain protection. This is an optional effect, but it gives the assassin the potential for a 2 for 1 kill. Last Nightmare is our purest hard removal. We only use one because it is quite costly for such a fast deck. However, it might be the key in removing that last taunt creature who's stopping us from ending the game. Soul Drain is a much faster event card that can help leverage the playing field or directly hit our opponent's orb. This card has great utility for its cost and fits the aggressive style of deck. Finally, Windborn has a lot more utility than just removal. It can give our creatures flying and attack boost and charge. This can be used for trading with an enemy, but has more merit being used as an aggressive tool. The last four cards in the deck give us some extra damage, extra feria, and a bit of card draw. Orodrim Templar is a cheap creature that gains an additional free attack when hitting our opponent's orb. Combined with cards like Windborn, the Templar can deal massive damage if not answered. Orodrim Monk is the deck's only draw mechanic and might get us out of a tough spot if we're starved for cards. Soul Pact gives us 2 Fairy at the cost of 2 life. This is an amazing trade off since we will be the aggressors in our games and our life can be used as a resource to help us win the game. Finally Golden Avery turns our flying creatures into powerhouses. This card buffs our flying creatures anywhere on the board. Now we have our deck, let's go over the strategy. We want to charge up the field to our opponent and take him out as quickly as possible. We do this by building land tiles right up the middle of the board and send our flying creatures to his orb. We don't want to give our opponent time to build up a response to our aggression. We just keep playing creatures until our opponent can no longer remove them. All right guys, let's take this deck online and see how it does and like i said it is an aggressive deck so we are going to be playing very aggressive slamming land tiles straight up the middle try and get an early lead on the life um i'm not too big of a fan of this hand i want to find creatures mainly i mean air elemental is great but i don't have another creature to follow up so i am going to redraw this hand hope to get like a dune drake or something like that Another air, there we go, Dune Drake's great, another Air Elemental, and then Avery. So this is actually a pretty awesome hand to start with. Avery will be a card that will boost our creatures a little later on. Maybe sneak in some extra burst damage that he's not expecting, or even get a trade-off. So let's start off with an Air Elemental, I think. If we go Air Elemental straight up the middle... Next turn, I can just do uh, two plane lands straight in the middle as well and drop the Doom Drake. And I can move uh, the air elemental over to this tile or that tile, depending on which way I want to go. And I can just slam the Doom Drake on this desert tile. So now he had to make a defensive uh, lake. 
otherwise he's going to be in a little bit of trouble and this guy comes down the lower thief so a lot of a lot of one ones coming down draw him cards so this is obviously a more controlling deck so let's have a look how do i want to do this Slam two land tiles up this way. I'm gonna move him to the left. Put the June Drake by there. So June Drake can't gather Feria, which I mentioned earlier, which is a, a perfect drawback for flying and charge two. Very powerful for four Feria, a creature with four four stats as well. So the same stats as a Maceman. But he can fly and he can charge, so he's an excellent uh, creature. Probably just would say one of the best four cost creatures that I know of. All right, so he goes for the pool. He does need to play something. Like I said, we you can see the early aggression already. He's dropped two power. Uh, well, he's dropped uh, two attack, two life on board in total, and we've dropped seven. 7-6, so a lot of power. And then we got this guy as well, who is fantastic. So I'm going to want to play him. Start moving everyone up. Getting Windborn on him as well. Which, um, Well, the thing is, the thing with Windborn is if I had not developed my tiles up this side, and let's just say for argument's sake I had a desert by here, and I played the Templar by here. It would take him two turns together. The Windborn is a card that accelerates that, it gives him flying, gives him charge, and all of a sudden, you're taking seven damage to your orb if you uh, don't read a Windborn coming down. So it just shows you how dangerous this card can be, especially in combination of buff events like Windborn. And now the Village Elder has moved into a defensive position I might just go all out on my hand, depending on what I draw next turn, and depending on what he plays. He does have six Feria, seven cards in hand. I might just pop another Feria. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for it, guys. Sorry. So, pop Feria here. I could have developed Lantile, actually. Um, I didn't consider he'd gather. That's fine. Just move these up. Take this guy out. Down to five life already. Oh man. <laughs> How do you deal with all this? Nine fairy. What can you do for nine fairy that can deal with all this? Like Meteor, if he had enough mountains, he needs five mountains for Meteor. Uh the the blue dragon famine combo has been nerfed. Can't even do that. So yeah, I think this game has been won. Very surprised if it hasn't been, but that kind of just shows you the old game plan. You slam right in the middle with those land tiles, drop these heavy hitter flyers for their cost, go in, hit them in the orb, and, and just keep putting that constant pressure down. I mean, even if he had some stronger creatures to challenge these, I still had an air elemental to follow up. Um, I got my next drawer as well. So all your all your main creatures cost between three and four, so all very cheap. So you can usually play a creature, uh, maybe pop an extra fairy or crystal if you haven't been sat at a pool, and uh, you you just well, that's what you want to do. You just want to constantly churn out these creatures, make him have responses to them, and if he doesn't have the responses, you'll just win the game. I almost feel guilty making this video of how fast that went. That just kind of shows the power of this deck. That is it for our third guide covering the aggressive might of yellow. Thank you for watching and check back at playferia.com for more Ferias tips and tricks videos.